Next we have bassoon, and this is going to be a video to show you the proper hand position on bassoon. Once you've got this properly assembled, the next thing that you want to do is we want to look at both hand positions. Now, normally I would have a seat strap and I would be supporting the weight of the bassoon either with a seat strap or a neck strap. However, in this video, it was easier for me to carry it a little bit higher so that way you can see it and I can hold it up to the camera. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to talk about left hand position. So this is the back of the bassoon here. And I know there's a lot of keys right here. The first thing that you want to do is you want to locate this one right here. This is called the whisper key. And you're going to use your left hand thumb to press that key. You'll know if you're doing the correct key if you look up here and you see the whisper key pad that covers the venting hole on this vocal right here. So as I, I'm pressing up and down the whisper key, you can see that it's touching that. It's closing it and opening it. So that's how you know if you've got the whisper key. Any other key will not do that, only the whisper key. Now I'm going to show you the front of the bassoon. And you'll notice that there is a hole right here. This very top hole is going to be for your pointer finger. Then the next open hole is going to be for the number two finger, or your middle finger here. The next one is your ring finger, and that's going to be this metal key right here. And then finally, the left pinky will go right here. This instrument is primarily uh, really good for students who have larger or longer fingers and hands. Um, anybody who tries with shorter hands like me can have some difficulty reaching all the keys. Okay, now that I've got my left hand position set, I'm going to do my right hand position. So I'm going to take my right hand and I'm going to uh, find this key right here that's round. People often call it the pancake key because it looks like a pancake. So I'm going to put my right hand thumb on that pancake. You'll notice that I have this hand guard here. This hand guard comes out, and it's not necessary to have, but if you have longer fingers, this is great for wrapping around here so that way you can reach the keys in the front. However, if you have somewhat smaller hands, you can remove that and play without it. It just depends on the size of your hand. So right hand thumb on the pancake key. We're going to look over here at the front of the bassoon. Now. I'm going to find this another open hole, just like we did on the very top. We're going to find the next ring key, or this circle key right here. The main thing here is that you're able to cover that hole entirely. And there's two metal keys right here. We want to find the lower one. That's going to be for your ring finger. And then finally, your pinky is going to touch this last pinky key right here. You'll know if you're doing the correct pinky key, if you can see the bottom pad moving up and down when you press it. So the bassoon goes like this. We're holding it right here with our seat strap. We have good position. The vocal is coming up to us. We'll bring the bassoon up to us. And that is the correct hand position for bassoon.